Tyrion accompanies King Robert Baratheon to Winterfell, where he makes the acquaintance of a prostitute named Ross, and gives her a Lannister lion necklace. While lingering outside the feast hall, Tyrion meets Jon Snow, Eddard Stark's bastard son and realizes he is something of a kindred spirit. All dwarfs are bastards in their father's eyes, he explains. Despite time spent in brothels and taverns, Tyrion is well-read, cunning, and has a fondness for social misfits. When Prince Joffrey refuses to pay his respects to Lord and Lady Stark after Bran's fall, Tyrion slaps him until he acquiesces. He then breakfasts with his family, where he says he wants to visit the wall and piss off it. He takes interest in Bran's fall, noting carefully his siblings' glum reactions to the news that Bran is likely to live. On the road to Castle Black, Tyrion explains to Jon that he likes to read as it keeps his wits sharp. Upon reaching the wall, he is temporarily rendered speechless by the size and scale of the structure. During his stay, Tyrion observes Jon Snow's superior attitude toward his fellow recruits and recommends he help the others train in order to earn their friendship. Maester Aemon and Lord Commander Jor Mormont ask Tyrion to use his influence at court to recruit more men for the Night's Watch. While Tyrion is sympathetic, he doesn't believe in danger beyond the wall. Pausing at Winterfell on the trip home, Tyrion gives Bran the blueprint for a custom saddle. At the inn at the crossroads, Tyrion is ambushed by Catelyn Stark and arrested for Bran's attempted murder. Catelyn takes Tyrion, who protests his innocence, to the Eyrie. A sellsword from the inn, Bronn, accompanies them, noting Tyrion's wealth and a promise he will handsomely reward any man who helps him. They are attacked by the hill tribes and Tyrion barely manages to defend himself. Tyrion warns Catelyn that her sister, Lysa, has become irrational with grief and will try to kill him. She is skeptical, but Tyrion is proven correct. Lysa accuses him conspiring in her John Arryn's death. Tyrion is thrown into one of the Eyrie's, Sky Cells, dungeons which open onto a ravine on one side. Tyrion bargains with his jailer, Maud to get an audience with Lady Arryn and he, confesses, to being a whoremonger and dwarf, before demanding a trial by combat. Bran agrees to stand as his champion and kills Ser Vardas Egan, freeing Tyrion. Bran accompanies him on the journey south. Tyrion establishes some ground rules with Bran, saying he will pay more money than anyone else who attempts to bribe him to betray Tyrion. They are then surrounded by men of the hill tribes, led by Shaga. Tyrion uses his quick wit and words to win the allegiance of the tribes, offering to better equip them for battle and help them conquer the Vale of Arryn in return for their help. Shagger agrees, though he notes that if Tyrion tries to renege on his promise he will cut off his manhood and feed it to the goats. Tywin Lannister's forces have been attacking Catelyn's home in the Riverlands ever since she arrested Tyrion. It's not that he cares so much about Tyrion, he explains to Jaime, but because even though Tyrion is the least of them he is still a Lannister, and if they allow one of their own to be taken so easily, they risk losing the respect of the other houses. The hill tribesmen deliver Tyrion to his father's army, where he learns that Rob Stark is leading an army to war. Tyrion warns his father that Rob should not be underestimated. Tywin agrees to honor Tyrion's alliance with the hill tribes. When Shaga says they will only fight if Tyrion is with them on the field, Tywin also agrees, to Tyrion's dismay. Tyrion is commanded by his father to lead the hill tribes into battle from the front. Feeling that his father means to kill him, Tyrion retires to his tent, where he finds that Bronn has found a prostitute for him, a girl named Shay. Tyrion attempts to learn more about Shay via a drinking game, but finds his questions deflected. Instead he tells her about his own past with Tysha, a wheelwright's daughter. They married and spent several happy weeks together until Tywin learned of the matter. Tywin had Jaime tell Tyrion the truth, that Tysha was a prostitute that Jaime had paid to make his brother happy for a while. Tywin then gave her a piece of silver for every one of his guards she had sex with while Tyrion was forced to watch. Since then Tyrion has never attempted to take a wife or lover, only whores he can pay and send on their way. The next morning, Tyrion leads the tribes into battle at the Green Fork, but is knocked out by one of his own warriors Miz swung hammers just as the engagement begins. He is found by Bronn, after the battle, who brings Tyrion before his father on a medical stretcher. He learns from his father that Rob deceived them, delaying their army with a fainting force so the main Stark host can fall on and defeat Jaime's army in battle, with the Northern army now regrouping for an attack on King's Landing. With Jaime captured, Rob's forces now allied to those of the Riverlands and both Stannis and Renly Baratheon claiming the Iron Throne, 
the odds have swung against the Lannisters. Tywin risks being caught between three armies, so he retreats to Harrenhal. Tyrion makes shrewd observations about the ominous turn the current situation has taken now that Joffrey has killed Eddard. Grudgingly impressed, Tywin orders Tyrion to report to King's Landing and act as the Hand of the King to try to keep Joffrey in line and execute any of the small council members if they try anything treasonous. Tywin forbids him to take, that whore, with him, but Tyrion defies him and asks Shay to come to King's Landing with him.